Well, I've been doing some longer trips recently on my Honda Revel 300 and trying to build up my own endurance. So I thought it was high time to see if the Honda Revel 300 was actually a travel worthy bike. So I got on Google Maps and I plotted a route from my house to Oklahoma taking back routes and avoiding Waco and Dallas-Fort Worth just because of the traffic. I chose a route following Highway 79 through Taylor, Hearn, Palestine, and then finally north through Athens, Canton, Sulphur Springs, Paris, Texas, crossing the Red River, and finally into the city of Hugo, Oklahoma. about 60 miles in outside of time seems like a reasonable place to drink some water take a break we're at a picnic area it's really nice to have these picnic areas so close straighten my bag out this is my wife's bag by the way This is a uh, break area about 10 miles west of Hearn. And uh, just thought I would stop. I am exactly 60 miles into my trip and this just presented itself. So there's my uh, Wild Heart bag. And uh, I like his uh, high visibility there. And then just got a pack with some clothes and I got a cover for the bike for when I get into a hotel and this is my wife's Cartec bag Cortec Cortec bag Cartec doesn't make sense and she's letting me borrow alright so I had a little bit of a break I'm going to go ahead and get back on the road now I didn't need to have the break but it was nice to have the break and that might forestall any fatigue that sets in later Okay, I made a big gear mistake, and uh, it's not going to stop me, but it messed me up a little bit. And that is, uh, let me get on the road here. When I stopped and took off my jacket, I laid it over the seat, and uh, I guess the zipper is plastic, and When I, uh, it must have touched the muffler because it melted the bottom end of the zipper. So I'm not going to be able to just zip this off like a regular, I'm going to have to pull it off like a pullover jacket or something. I almost forgot to put on my gloves. And this is very loose gravel here. I got to be careful if I have to pull over here. I need to keep do it with a purpose. I just don't need to screw up. This early into the I don't want to screw up at all, but you know. Jeez. Alright. Pay attention. Where are we? 
turn somewhere. That train will probably stop us. Up. This cruising is 65 right now. So far, feeling pretty good. I'm about 100 miles in to the trip. Boy, I really love Texas. It's just beautiful. You got to do a drive to it, but it's pretty. All right, about 120 miles in, I just stopped town don't know the name of it but uh yeah i just pulled over a lot of trucks wanted to pass me and i just said go ahead and let them do it there and they want to do 70 and i'm not going to do 70 so so far so good uh, 123 in i got about 44 miles to my first fill up I don't really like to push it that far. I, I hope it's okay. It should be. I mean, I've done it before. I think I calculated I should be able to get a, over 200 miles on this tank, or real close to 200 miles. But I'm not. One of these days, I'm going to do a trip where I just run it dry and carry some gas with me. See what the real range on this bike is. But that'll be for another video. Don't want to do that now. I think I caught that in time with the camera. It looks like a little tops of trees with some camping in there. That's pretty neat. It's a really neat area. Buffalo, Texas. Recently a big town. I've never been through here before. State Highway 45 we just passed under. I don't know if y'all can see those hills way up there on the horizon past the trees. City limit. We are now on the reserve tank. But I think we're going to go a little further. So I just filled up my first fill up for the trip in Oakwood. I did not want to risk go, trying to get, make it to Palestine. I was already on my reserve tank. I probably would have made it, okay? But. Um, I checked how many uh, miles per gallon I'm getting from the gauge here. It says I'm only getting like 63 and I'm calculating 65, but that meter is pretty much correct. So I'm not getting the 70 miles per gallon that I thought I was going to get. So I went ahead and filled up a little earlier and I'm probably going to have to stop at 150 miles just seems like a reasonable uh, drive. Alrighty, so I gotta pay attention to the road. I'll bring you back when we get to Palestine. Okay, we just passed the confluence of 79 and 84 and that's what we're on right now pretty nice road a little loud on the tires right, we're on that on loop 256 but it turns into highway 19 very nice road canton 55 that's good news 48 right now, I would say, I don't know, I'm 
probably uh, an hour behind schedule. So I've been on the road for a little over four hours. And I've gone 164 miles. So that's not a very good average. I'm starting to see uh, quite a bit of roadkill on this road. I really haven't stopped to have a good break yet. I'm hoping I can do that in Athens. That's in about 15 miles from here. A little less. Alright, we're in the city of Athens. Athens has a McDonald's. I'm ready to sit down, cool down, have a little cheeseburger and a drink. Okay, I'm not gonna risk there not being a McDonald's. This is Subway. This is good enough. No shade. gone 51 miles since my last fill up I'm in Athens and I got 196.9 miles on this trip and I need a break Okay, I just entered the town of Canton. It is 2.19. I am not making good time at all. Did a long break. Maybe my target was too big. I don't know. But in any event, I am committed. So... We're at least going to Paris. Here's their market day stadium over there on the left. It's a big deal. You should come here and make it a whole, you can make a whole weekend out of it. Getting is huge. I should say Canton is cool and everything like that, but I just came up State Highway 19 and they textured the highway, which probably means, means nothing to anybody who drives a car, but it was terrible in this bike. I had to ride on the shoulder for the longest time. Feels good when a cloud goes over, let me tell you. about 3.30 I'm not going to make it as far as I thought I'm going to have to uh, get a room in Paris, Texas they got about five hotels there I should be able to get a room and I was hoping to make it and Paris, Texas is pretty much the farthest north I've uh, before Oklahoma on the route I'm taking It's a fail. I mean, it's just too hot. The thing is here, I've had to take a lot of breaks. It's really, really slowed me down 
Right now I'm only 250 miles in. I won't get any more than like 300 miles. And the heat's pretty bad. It's about 102 is what it, what the feel like temperature is, what they call it. And if I were going to go into about mid-Oklahoma, which was my thought, my plan, uh, that I'd be well into dark and I don't want to ride on these roads in the dark. I've never been on them before. And, oh well. That's just my status right now. Pulled into a gas station, I thought, well, I might as well fill up there, but they don't have any premium, so I'm gonna fill up in Sulphur Springs. It's about, I don't know, 18 miles up the road or so. my room. It's the only downstairs room they had. Two queen beds. <sighs> or devils, I guess. I don't know. They're queens. Anyway, I'll use one of them. So today I went 307.6 miles. And this is my first overnight trip. I never did make it to Oklahoma, but I'm going to go ahead and do that in the morning go to Oklahoma, touch the sign, get a pick maybe, and uh, head home. Well, I just checked out of my hotel, and uh, the state line is only about 14 miles away, so I'm heading for that. I'm going to touch the Oklahoma sign, and then I'll be coming back.